Hi, Jerry Doyle here, Doyle Audio Engineering. And today we are going to show you uh, a really cool cabinet that uh, we've enjoyed designing and building and it serves a really, really interesting purpose. Uh, I've left it open here so uh, we'll be able to go in to see uh, a little bit more of our hand-built crossover in this unit. This is a solid point-to-point -point crossover. It is the best way a crossover can be built. Uh, if we were to use a fiberglass uh, type of crossover, um, the signal doesn't travel as well. Uh, it can potentially, it can break. Uh, and it would be a lot cheaper to do it the other way, but we like to do hand-built uh, crossovers. It takes us a lot longer, but it's a much better, superior uh, style of crossover. This is an 18-inch Fatal speaker that goes into our system here. It's a beautiful cast frame. The whole casting is done right around the magnet, so the magnet can't shift. Air venting goes right around the driver here. Beautiful speaker. Uh, it's endless in terms of the technological leaps forward of this particular speaker. And uh, it's, this whole cabinet is all loaded with Fatal. Neodymium, which means that it's a nice lightweight speaker. Uh, again, uh, making this a very great portable style of cabinet as well as uh, perfect for doing installations. So uh, let me go over what we've got. A one inch asymmetrical horn, a 10 inch asymmetrical mid-range, and an 18 inch base driver. This is a full range cabinet. This can be used in so many different applications. Uh, as an example, for a band, uh, it's an all-in-one cabinet. It's got tons of bottom end. Very powerful mid-range uh, and great sounding top end. Uh, it has fly points on it, so it can be used in a club uh, or a bar installation. Uh, and it can also be used, uh, which is probably one of the, the best places for it, in um, any kind of installation like a church or a school auditorium, that kind of thing. And the concept of this is called asymmetrical. And this is very, very important. And I wanted to go over and explain to you what an asymmetrical PA system is. Asymmetrical means as follows. When this sound system comes out, we have what's called dispersion and dispersion control. You'll notice that the top here of the mid-range is tighter than the lower end of the mid-range. What happens here, if you can imagine this being level plane, is that the sound going to the back of the room has a tighter dispersion pattern than the sound here going to the front of the room. What happens is this, especially if you are in a room where you have a glass or you have a, a brick wall or a hard wall going down your hallway of any kind, you get what's called refraction where the sound wave bounces off of that wall and gets to you and then the original sound wave that's come from the speaker gets to you sooner. What happens is this is called a phase cancellation where the phasing comes to you out of phase and you have the same sound wave hitting you at a later time and this creates a distortion if you will, that's the best way to describe it, uh, almost a muffling of the voice uh, especially in the mid-range area, uh, as well as, of course, the high-frequency area. Uh, bass is more omnidirectional, so it's, uh, it's not as prevalent uh, for this kind of, of situation to be a big problem in a room. Um, so again, the concept here is to get a nicer, cleaner sound by controlling our dispersion at the back of the room. This one happens to be a 90 degrees dispersion, so if you can imagine if it be a church or a stage and you've got people very close to the front of the stage, you want a very wide dispersion as you're looking down among the people in front of you. But as you get towards the back of the room, and most rooms being long and rectangular, you don't want your sound waves bouncing off the side walls and getting to you, the listener, and out of phase with the initial flux of sound that comes to you from the speaker's source. So this reduces sound bouncing around your room, helps control your sound, helps put your sound where you need it, and also it helps control the energy. So, so this way, even though you have maybe just one 10 inch speaker, all of the energy of that speaker is focused all in the right area. Now, by the way, this cabinet is extremely loud and powerful, and most school gyms, uh, for the variety of, as an example of things that you do, or churches, this is all you would need. 
In fact, this is you know, a lot more at times than what you'd need. And we even have a smaller version of this, which is the same horn, but we're using a 6-inch mid-range and a 12-inch bass uh, driver on the bottom. And that may involve, depending on the size of the room, uh, adding a, a small sub to that. So this is it, our asymmetrical uh, sound system. It's called an AF801AS. Comes with a metal grill across the front of it and also with acoustic foam uh, for the outdoor version of it. It has fly points at the top and the back, so it's very easy to do installations with. Okay, AF801AS. Thank you.